Hi, this is Mark from Tripsolo. Uh, today I'd like to show you a game called Basilica. Uh, first, I want to tell you that this is not a solo game. It's a two-player game. I got this game uh, as a bonus uh, with other games for, for review uh, from Portal Games, so thanks for sending it. And because I'm curious about new games, I thought that I will try it and play it. And after I played it, I liked it so much that I thought that I will uh, make a video about it. Um, Basilica is a two-player only game, kind of abstract uh, tile-laying game, uh, where two architects are building a, a cathedral, a basilica, in uh, medieval Florence. Uh, they, in a way, should work together, but the one uh, architect that uh, makes a better job and builds the uh, nicest part of the, of the basilica uh, will be uh, rewarded with a lot of money and fame and all of it <clears throat> and you may think uh, okay so this is a abstract uh, tie line game uh, what's new about it uh, the special thing about basilica is that this is not a relaxing game where each player uh, builds its own you know cathedral uh, has its own board mm. both players uh, work with the same tiles and they build the same you can say building uh, but they compete with each other <coughs> and there are uh, a lot of uh, mean interaction between players you have uh, area control elements uh, so this is like a dual game and not a relaxing uh, tile laying game so i will show you how it plays and then i we will come back here and i will tell you my opinion uh, on this game uh, this is Basilica prepared for uh, playing. Um, each player gets uh, five these beautiful wooden uh, builder pawns, mm, three promotion tokens that allow to give uh, builders special abilities, and one wooden token. Uh, here is this, uh, you can say, market board from which each player will choose uh, tiles that will add to the cathedral or you can issue different orders that are at the bottom of this of this board uh, there is a scoring board at the top uh, each here's each pawn from each player and there's also this uh, queen pawn that will move uh, on this uh, scoring track and the uh, queen pawn indicates when there is a scoring scoring takes place three times in this game after third scoring the game ends or if the big uh, pile of tiles runs out you have to reshuffle the discarded ones and if it runs out for the second time the game also can end so either after third scoring or when the um, big stack of uh, tiles is reshuffled uh, runs out uh, twice mm. you also have this uh, stained glass uh, tokens and they add additional points in this game but the idea of this game is that you will build the cathedral by adding different tiles to it uh, the cathedral will be five tiles in uh, white and as high as it uh, as it takes mm. and every player uh, in its turn can do basically three things you can take one tile from the market and place it somewhere uh, in the cathedral this is action uh, one of the possibilities. Other option is that you can take your builder pawn and place it on the tile that you placed in the cathedral. You can do this only after placing a tile. This is the second action you can take. Uh, when there is an uh, empty space in the vault area, you have to flip this tile uh, up and add another tile here. And the third option that you have is to issue one of the visible orders from the bottom part of this board. Orders are special actions that you can take. Uh, for example, this tile tells you that you can add one uh, stained glass uh, token to a tile with your builder. You can do something like this. And this will give you two additional points uh, in the scoring section of this game. Uh, when you take an order from here, you have to replace the tile. So you can take three actions, uh, any three of them. You can add three tiles or issue three orders on, I don't know, add one tile, place a builder and make an order, as you wish. Let's say now it's the turn of the second player. The second player adds the red tile here 
uh, and you can notice that this tile has a crown icon and if you see a crown you have to move the pawn uh, the queen pawn uh, one space forward and this is how the queen moves so adding more tiles with a crown will uh, move the queen until it reaches 10 20 30 and then there will be scoring mm. so the player placed this now we have to uh, replace uh, uh, the, the tile the second action will be placing the uh, builder and third action will be using this order and this order says that you can add a promotion token to your builder you have three promotion tokens and they have different abilities this one uh, means that your uh, builder is counted like two builders so it got two power this one says that if there is a tie because when there is scoring uh, each player for each area in this game will uh, count the number of uh, builder pawns in a specific area and the players with majority will score points for for this area so we'll only score points for the areas where you have your uh, builders and this token says that in in case of tie uh, you will win the tie and score points um, there is also this token and it means that the area uh, where this token is placed on will give uh, the winner of this area twice as much points there's also the jester token and the jester says that uh, the tile the builder stands on um, is like a wild tile the owner of this builder will be able to add another color to this tile because you can notice that some tiles are also double colored and this one is also it's green and yellow at the same time uh, so let's say during the game the player will add different tiles here here uh, okay we have to replace it like this uh, i will add a green tile here i will add a builder here i'm doing it not uh, uh, according to rules just to show you how it works and let's say this token is here mm, this builder pawn is here uh, and now there is let's say there is scoring uh, so this player will get three points because one point for one tile and two additional points for the stained glass token so it will get three points one two three uh, this player will get two points because he's got majority in this uh, red area so two points for for this player and the yellow area each player has got one pawn so this is a tie nobody gets any points but if for example the uh, red player will have this token uh, now the, in case of ties the red player wins so the red player will get two additional points of course when there is scoring there, there will be more, more tiles here i'm just showing you more or less how it works when there is scoring uh, the thing is that uh, when there is scoring two bottom rows of the cathedrals are discarded normally you have more tiles here so you remove all the uh, builder pawns from the uh, from the tiles you remove all promotional tiles and you remove two bottom rows of the uh, cathedral and you continue playing after second scoring you do the same you remove two bottom rows of the cathedral and there is the third scoring and the game ends uh, so you have to plan what to put where and how to put uh, all the tiles because you know that the two bottom rows will be discarded and then you will continue building up um, there are also these coins and these coins allow um, other player to make use the action from the other player let's say the red player wants to make this order and add a token uh, to the builder pawn for example this one so now the other player can pay one coin to make the bottom action and it says that the bottom the, the second player can also give a promotion order other than this one but can add promotion order to uh, to the builder uh, pawn but the player has to pay the coin to the player that issued the order 
<laughs> so at this point the red player has got two coins the uh, white player has got no coins so this adds a strategic layer to this game because each player starts with one coin and if you decide to pay the coin to the other player for doing some action you have to hope that at some point you will make an order and the other player would like to pay you a coin so you'll have it to use it and uh, this is a really cool idea uh, there is also an expansion in this game called altars and uh, you have to shuffle this eight tiles in the big stack here and this special altar order allows you to place uh, special altar uh, tokens if you place altar token on a tile with a stained glass token the stained gla glass token gives you not two but four points also the tile with this token is safe it cannot be removed from the game and and if you have a builder on the tile it cannot also be moved by other player because there is an option there are some orders here that allow you to for example uh, remove a tile so if you use this order you can remove this tile from here and this player will you know get less points for this area so a lot of option to uh, make your opponent angry and to you know mess with uh, scoring for your uh, opponent there are also this uh, scaffolding tiles they can also be added with a special order and they like you can say they block the building options in the cathedral because if someone puts uh, two of these tiles here uh, the white player will not be able to add any uh, adjacent you know red tiles so they, they will be removed after uh, scoring but until then this one is uh, this white player is blocked and cannot really put any more red uh, tiles so this is more or less how the game plays free actions you will add tiles to the cathedral you will fight for majorities in different areas and you will score three times after the third scoring the player with most points wins so this is how it plays so you know how how the game plays uh, and as i told you before basilica is a game with a lot of uh, negative uh, interaction between players and this is a very very unique because uh, most abstract games i've played they are kind of uh, multiplayer solitaire where all the players have their own board and they are trying to build something i know like uh, calico or suburbia or games like this and there is not much interaction between players but this game really feels like a duel uh, more like a I don't know chess game uh, where there are two players competing with each other but at the same time they are trying to to build the the basilica and <clears throat> it's really cool cool and unique mm. I like the idea that uh, all the tiles can be used in two ways you can either use it as a vault and add the tiles to the to the cathedral uh, choosing tiles with the the color that you want uh, but you can also use the other side of the tile as an order and you have uh, a few orders like uh, you can move your uh, builder pawn or you can add another pawn or you can remove a tile from the cathedral it adds a lot of uh, strat strategic depth to this game <coughs> so this is really cool mm. i like the idea idea that this game is really tight because you have only five builders and your opponent has only five builders and five builders is, an, is not a lot <coughs> to gain uh, mm, let's say control of different areas so you have really think about it uh, how to place your uh, builders on the uh, on the tiles to <coughs> get most uh, points mm. this is this is really cool uh, and another cool idea is that you have this coin and this coin allows you to mm, use uh, part of the uh, action from the order that your opponent played but you have to pay uh, the coin to your opponent and you have only one coin uh, so if you want to use uh, the action that your opponent uh, uh, has used you can pay him a coin but then uh, you have to you know uh, hope that at some point you will play a, a, an order tile and your opponent will pay you the coin back so this is this is really cool <coughs> If you are looking for a, a chill out relaxing game a tile laying game 
uh, this is not the game for you because this is like a perfect game for a divorce <laughs> if you play with your I don't know for example if your wife or your husband uh, it can get uh, really nasty because uh, it's not like you're building your own uh, you know areas in this game and maybe from time to time you will do something mean to your opponent uh, <clears throat> i think that the main part of this game is to mess with your opponent builders and your opponent tiles and your opponent ar areas to remove tiles block tiles remove builders uh, you you have this uh, special promotion uh, tokens that you can add to your builders and this is another strategic layer because the promotional the promotion tiles not tiles tokens uh, they can for example uh, double the amount of points you get from a specific area or they can uh, if you give it to your builder you can treat uh, your builder uh, as like two builders when you calculate the the ma majority for an area <clears throat> a lot of cool ideas here mm. i'm not really sold with the art style of this game and when i opened the box i, I looked at this tiles and this game and i thought okay it looks okay but nothing really you know groundbreaking mm. but when i started playing this game and you know and when i started uh, placing my builders and you know my wife removed my builders and she took she took some areas from me it, it was really really fun and the game is quite fast uh, it takes maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes to play. Mm. Uh, it's cool that uh, the game can end in both ways, in two ways. Uh, one option is that uh, if you run out of tiles, you have to reshuffle the, all the tiles and then you uh, continue. But if you, <coughs> for a second time, if the game runs out of tiles, the game ends. Uh, but the game can also end when there's a special queen pawn and it moves around the score track and at certain points uh, you have the, the scoring so you score three times in this game and after the third scoring uh, the game ends so uh, either you are running out of tiles or uh, the queen uh, gets to the third uh, scoring uh, spot on the uh, scoring track uh, <clears throat> so if you're looking for a dual game a game with a lot of player interaction and you are tired of this uh, multiplayer solitaire abstract games uh, basilica is really cool uh, this this is a new edition of this game i think the first edition came like 10 11 12 years ago a long time ago uh, this one has uh, <coughs> better components you have you have this uh, nice uh, wooden pawns and wooden uh, coins for example a nice insert in this game as well but it also includes uh, a small expansion with some al altars and they give you some additional abilities to get more points from from different areas in this game so this is a mean abstract tie line game if you're looking for something like this it's really really cool uh, i think this is it uh, click hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, visit me on instagram visit me on twitter visit me on facebook i will leave links in the description of the video and thank you for watching see you next time bye bye